Hello, hello everyone. GPU access using CSFS. Basically, that general purpose input output. It has been provided with that user interface using the CSFS. Basically, it provides the files and configurations and informations to write and read back about the gpu pins of each the processor basically that csfs has been can be enabled in the linux kernel using device drivers gpu support and then csfs interface just we need to enable that csfs interface Basically, CSFS interface will be available in the folder directory sys plus gpio. Maybe we can see over the terminal something like this. Maybe we have sys plus gpio. It contains the gpio class specific files that we can able to do that. Play with that gpio. and it has different things something like we can create a number export a number in order to get that gpu access basically we can do by echo the gpu number and then export we will get that the respective gpu access basically and also we can configure that once we done with that export we can do that configure that direction using the gpu number and then direction either it can be a input or it can be a output basically and if you configured as a input obviously you can read back using the cat gpu number and value if you configure as a output you can either write a 1 or 0 into that corresponding gpu that we can see over there with an example we can able to see that with an example yeah i have a device called accessories shield which contains multiple peripherals it i just plugged on top of to the udunio board i got the system like this maybe yeah i just plugged on top of udunio board the accessory shield yeah it contains oled display over here and i have the buzzer here i have the potentiometer uh, temperature sensor here i have the relay over here i have that potentiometer over here i have that rgb led and then mini joysticks in that we will be check some of the peripherals using the gpio basically that we can able to check it over here yeah maybe when when i when 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 i take the board there is uh, some power it has happened to disconnect basically over here i wrongly typed the password i think yeah i have to type again yeah i got it connected cd sys plus gpu and i have that oh, here yes we have different kind of peripherals we will see how it was interfaced with the idadmx solo x processor of your new board basically here we have that gpu gpu port 5 and the pin number 15 is connected with the blue led and it says that since it is uh, how we can manipulate that gpu number it's something like it starts from 1 2 3 4 5 and the gpu port p minus 1 into 32 plus the pin number 
for example 5 here 5 minus 1 4 4 into 32 is 138 and then plus 15 is 143 similar way we got that readily get connected with that GPO port 5 and uh, pin number 20 and we have greenly connected with the GPO port number 5 and pin number 18 and uh, buser is connected with the GPO port number 4 and pin number 9 and we have relay connected with that GPO port number 5 and then pin number 19 we can enable to access over here maybe we can check it here something like I can do the GPO number for example I am having that 143 is my blue LED. I am going to configure 143 to export. I am exporting that. Maybe once I export, I will get that GPO number basically. Once it is done, I am going to configure it as output. Maybe echo out and then GPO 143 direction. I just configured the direction. I got the LEDs, blue LEDs glowing over here. Yeah it's maybe I can do change the value over here maybe echo and then I'm going to write one maybe GPIO 143 then value it got off maybe I'm writing zero again it's glowing basically it's something like a simple GPO interface to access that simple CFS interface to access the GPO basically over there and we can have it something like another one we have 148 for the red LED maybe we can check it over there maybe I can do that 148 and then I'm going to configure echo direction as 148 I got the LED, red LEDs glowing maybe I can turn off by riding into that GPO 148 I'm getting that off maybe I can do similarly we can access that green LED as well with the 146 number maybe we can see here with the 146 what is happening maybe 146 I'm going to change that into the direction as output since it is output I got green LEDs glowing over here maybe we can write one to it so that we will be get that LED off and we can see here something like we can also operate that buzzer it was connected with the 105 maybe we can check it over here maybe I can do export 105 1 over 105 and then I'm going to make it as direction output 105 and I'm going to write 1 on to the 105 I'm getting the bus sound <laughs> yeah maybe I can able to disable by writing into 0 yes I got it yeah similar way I can play with that the relay which connected with the 147 maybe I can check it you can check that as well 147 over here I just exported and I'm going to configure it direction as output yeah I got it maybe I have to write 147 it does not change its value is 1 maybe I'm going to write 1 I got the LEDs right uh, relay is activated and uh, LED is glowing maybe I have to write type I'm typing again that with the 0 the relay is deactivated de-energized and uh, LED is off maybe I we can check it again yeah here the LED is glowing and the LED is off yeah it's very nice to start with that how we can play with that CFS interface that it can be 
access the GPA was basically it's just an output we can see that how we can do with the input in the later sections thank you for watching if you have any queries you can contact me at nvhariharan at the rate of nivitech.com thank you for watching subscribe me for more updates thank you